This is Mark Schofield from Inside the Pylon with another installment of First Sound. Playing quarterback well at any level is in part an endless quest for knowledge and improvement. One of the joys I have studying quarterback play is when I see evidence of a quarterback learning from game to game, from drive to drive, sometimes even from snap to snap. That was one of the things that stood out to me watching Deshaun Watson last year. I did a piece about his game against Florida State when he saw a weak side cornerback blitz a couple times in that game. And you could tell over the course of that one contest, he learned from a mistake that he made and improved and made himself a better quarterback and a better teammate as that game wore on. Today, I'm going to look at just two plays, one right after the other, a second down and a third down from University of Richmond quarterback Kyle Laletta. Loletta made a name for himself down at the Senior Bowl a few weeks ago in Mobile. He was named the Super Bowl, the Senior Bowl MVP. But he was really sort of well known in draft circles leading into that game. Nick Martin, Will Stevenson, two people on Twitter have been talking up Loletta for a while, and with good reason. Loletta is a very intriguing prospect and somebody that you should definitely do your work on as we head towards the draft. This first play is a second and eight. Football is on the left hash mark. Loletta is in the shotgun. He's primarily a shotgun pistol quarterback, but can operate under center if you're into that sort of thing. Richmond runs a spot concept on this play. Tight end. We'll run the corner route. Spot route here. And out of the backfield, we get the quick flat route. Before the play begins, I want to sort of Highlight this defender here. Look at him right now. Weight forward, angled towards the offensive backfield. If you're a quarterback and you see this, you have to think that this player is going to what? Blitz, right? Everything pre-snap tells Lawletta that this guy is coming. And that's what's going to happen. Here's another piece to the pre-snap puzzle. Protection here will slide to the right. Slide protection to the right. With the tight end releasing and the running back tagged with a pass route, if this guy comes with the protection sliding away, Laletta is responsible for him. The ball has to get out. And that's exactly what happens. Again, look at him. He's cheating down. He's coming. Look at that. Is, is there any doubt in your mind this guy's coming? Of course not. And here he comes. Loletta takes a snap, comes right here, and he knows, got to get it out. This guy's coming. So he makes the easy throw, right? Throw it to the flat. Perfect read. Replace the blitz with the ball. Maybe you say throw this, but this guy's here. Can kind of take that away. Cornerback over the top of the corner. This route's open. Blitz. Easy read. Easy throw. Take it. Ball gets tipped. This is something that happens with Lawletta a little more than I would have expected because he's pretty clean and crisp mechanically with an over-the-top delivery. But here, defense makes a good play. Let's go to third down. I'm showing the pre-snap phase because this is something that also stood out to me about Lawletta. Even though he gets plays and calls from the sidelines, he's active in the pre-snap phase. You see him making adjustments here with different players. He'll use hand signals and other stuff pre-snap. That's something I like. Offense runs screen pass to the left here. What I love about this play, again, he gets pressured. They blitz from the linebacker spot. Watch how he adjusts and learns from the mistake that he made on the previous play. I'll just run this through. There's the blitz. Pump. Look at the touch on that. Now let's go back and sort of walk through this here again. It's a nicely designed play. You get blockers out in front, little swing screen. The blitz comes, he gets pressured again. And when he gets pressure off the edge, once the tackle and the guard vacate and you get edge pressure, he learns from the previous play. We'll run through it in slow motion here. There's 
there. I like that. Opens this way. Influences defenders. Now he comes back to the concept. He's got the pressure in his face now. Blocking is getting set it up. Nice design too. We get the receiver to crack down here. Really opens up this play nicely. But he's still got to get it there. Good recognition from this player too. He recognizes screen. He sort of peels off to try to get over the top of that. If he makes this throw here, like we had seen in the previous play, maybe it's tipped, maybe it's even intercepted. So Loletta has to do something a little bit differently to get this out. So he pumps on it, gets this guy in the air, creates that little throwing angle, little throwing lane now to throw this. But he's also aware of this. That's the other aspect to this play that I just love. Process and speed has been something that's impressive watching with Loletta. We saw it on the previous play. He recognizes the Brits blitz pre-snap, makes the right read, processes it quickly, and gets it out. Here we see it again. He's been great here to get this guy in the air and create the throwing lane. But again, if he just throws it, this guy can make a play on the ball. So he has to use a little bit of touch and get it around him, and that's exactly what he does. Leads him right towards the sidelines and upfield, gets it sort of away from him. Doesn't drill it in there. Uses more touch with it. Leads him upfield, and it turns into a huge game. I just love that that play from Kyle Loletta. You know, because on the previous play, he does everything right. He just doesn't make the throw. Again, the process and speed here is great. Sees it, comes to it, starts to get it out. Gets it tipped. But he learns, and on the very next play, gets the blitz, comes to the concept, ball in the air, then touch, and it's a big play for his offense. There are a lot of things to like about Kyle Lalletta, and I think as you do your own study on him, you'll come away with the belief that he's a guy that can play quarterback at the next level. The senior bowl is often about either readjusting your evaluation on a player or sometimes it even allows you to confirm an evaluation on a player going into mobile i was wondering if kyle loletta his the speed of his play could translate to the next level he confirmed that down in mobile and now as we all refine our own evaluations on him i think we can sort of come around the belief that he definitely belongs in the nfl now we all may differ on his eventual projection and how his career arc might turn out. But for now, I think we can be confident in the belief that Kyle Oletta will hear his name called sometime on draft day. I'm Mark Schofield. Thank you for watching this installment of First Sound. Reminder to check out all the First Sound videos, youtube.com backslash inside the pylon. I'll be back throughout draft season with more of these. Until then, thanks for watching.